Evan. So it'd be very interesting to see how they perform it differently. Kirby really is basically the setup guy. He sets up his teammate for some really sick kills, especially a character like Ike with just like kill power up the wazoo. Yeah, and we see double Greninja in the house, which is very surprising. Greninja, very good character, uh, though a little uh, underappreciated at the moment. Yeah he's, yeah, he's definitely one of those characters still obscure in the meta, but we have seen him get some really solid results, and he definitely is a solid character. Uh, but now we have two players, although they are not Greninja mains themselves, uh, but they are opting to bust him out here for this double Greninja team. And it has been working out for them pretty well. Here they are on Loser's Quarters. Already made top eight. Ooh, good, good uh, up throw. Greninja doesn't have the greatest shield grab. I believe his uh, gra standing grab is frame 14. He's actually one of the only two characters in this game with a shield grab slower than his dash grab. His dash grab is actually considerably faster than really? shield grab. Yep. That's a cute little thing to keep under your hat. Oh my goodness. Oh, unfortunate actually. Accidentally footstools is uh, the enemy, but uh, doesn't matter. Not of much Ooh. consequence really. Yeah, it Luckily dies for Mike. Few seconds later. Ooh, great forward smash. Greninja, a character that doesn't really have any disjoints until he throws out those really strong hits and all oh, of a sudden, yeah. you know, then he has these water swords that can really, really mess with your opponent if they don't have the right tools to deal with it. Oh, but here's another thing. Greninja is a fast faller. He is actually one of the fastest fallers in the game, uh, which means that he uh, can fall really hard into some of Kirby's combos. Kirby is kind of a fast fall of a killer. It's really easy for him to string these up tilts and up airs and all sorts of meaty stuff to tack on some serious percent. Ooh, down throw. Kirby's down throw actually sends the opponent at a really nice angle for some 2v1 combos. He can't get anything off of it himself, but uh, having it to uh, for have his partner being there can really extend some crazy strings. Good jabs, helping out his teammate there. And now we see sort of blue team on the right side, red, green team on the left, but now we have, ah, unfortunate. Um, he probably could have recovered, but Ike, you know, standing there on the ledge with that uh, eruption, it's so easy to two frame your opponents with it. Uh, so as long as um, Mike Kirby would have been able to keep the pressure off. And now we have a 2v1 situation with five stocks on Waldo and oh Mike. My goodness. This is pretty brutal right now. Can he, let's, I, I don't know, I'd be curious to see, this might be a chance for uh, Waldo and Mike to give us a little bit of a showcase on their ability to bust out some nasty 2v1 combos. Oh, I was expecting a footstool there. Oh, accidentally buffers the neutral air, but manages to make it back to stage. Uh, okay. Yeah, a little bit that's of something that, uh, that's something that Mike like. Wow, okay. That's just died. Not, I don't know, not the coolest way to end it, but an effective way nonetheless. Yeah, it's it's so hard in a 2v1 because it even your kill moves, if they land, can leave you open to die. You know, it's it's actually a very interesting bait of sometimes, you know, the one teammate will throw himself out in a dangerous situation, and you're like tempted, just like, oh, I'm gonna throw out the up smash. And sure, up smash kills. Uh, oh, right, and we actually see the character switch. Kibo going to Gold Falcon, the bronze statue himself. Uh, I, uh, maybe not though. He might be, I, oh, going to the Yoshi. Yoshi. Okay, okay, let me talk about Yoshi now, because Yoshi's on stream. That means I get to talk about him. That's the deal I made with myself. All right, going for the yellow color, interesting. Um, maybe not the most, probably uh, not the most disrespectful Yoshi color, but it's pretty up there. Anyway, what let's see. What are you see. talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about Yoshi colors and their tier, tier placement according to how disrespectful they are. All right, and so now, let's see if they can pull off something different here. Um, Yoshi is, of course, I actually think one of the strongest characters in doubles. He gets hit, hurt a lot, though, by the prevalence of Cloud. But there is no Cloud on screen here right now, which means that he's able to abuse some of the really nice things that Yoshi has. Amazing combo game, really solid kill moves. 
Um, Yushi is a very high risk, uh, very low risk, high reward kind of character, just due to fair being such a difficult move to punish. Well, Yoshi. Oh, at least oh, in that a was doubles weird. context. Yeah. Uh, for singles, probably not the case though. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, one of Yoshi's biggest problems in singles. Ooh. Oh, that was good. Uh, one of Yoshi's biggest problems in singles is basically uh, getting boxed out or good back air, sealing that stock, but or uh, getting out of a bad position. Because Yoshi has, like, Nair, and, you know, he's really good. It's, it can be really difficult to juggle him, but a lot of characters can put him in the corner, and he does not have great options for getting out of the corner. Uh, he likes to be able to retreat with his moves. Goes for the read on that neutral getup, but Mike Kirby not giving it to him. Oh, nice. That fair to up air, true combo, kill confirmed. Closing out that stock on Mike Kirby. And Waldo's now the only one left with three stocks, sitting at 120%. Oh, but Ike with Rage is a scary fellow indeed. Really putting the hurt on. Oh, yeah. No, He's so Ike. Challenging that. Yeah, Ike can actually. Uh, I believe it like he auto cancels his side B if he releases it from a certain height or it lasts yep. a certain amount of time. And so that's sort of there. Wow, that was amazing doing the ledge jump to get that. Uh, to get that back air in. He's still alive. He's, He's got still this. alive. Wow. Yeah. Um, and up throw. This could be big. Ooh. Fortunately, Doesn't with this amount of rage, uh, Yoshi would need at least 20 to 30% less to actually viably kill him. Yeah. Uh, Yoshi is really heavy, like all things considered, and he has a lot of mobility. Yep. What? Was that wow. an up air? I believe that was up tilt. That was an up tilt. Mm. I think that was up tilt. I am not sure. It, it was very quick. Uh, but, I mean, Yoshi is very heavy. Okay. Oh, falling I out of the like last that. hit. Wow. I like uh, that, but I didn't like the... We needed to connect there. That was yeah. cute. That was cute. And uh, this character switch, I think, has really been working out for uh, my, uh, for Kibo and uh, MGW. But it still might be just too little too late right now. Uh, yeah, like, look at this. The amazing... Okay, Mike Kirby's on ledge, and okay, that was great from Waldo, putting putting pressure on Kibo while he was trying to, uh, you know, keep Mike on ledge, saving his teammate essentially. Oh, but we got big combos here. Ooh, I think he wanted that to be a third <gasps> up air, but he accidentally. Oh, and the fair! <laughs> <was> Just flying. <laughs> everyone's dying. Um, and so now. Kibo super at kill percent, and that's it. He was and dead. Now we have this 2v1, three stocks to one with this Greninja. Let's see if he's able to, uh, what he can really do here. Greninja does have his amazing mobility. Okay, that was cute. I like that. Oh, here oh the, the higher com the big combos, though. The higher the damage that Ike has when he inhales somebody and spits them out, the slower they move. Wait, wait, hold on. So, so you the notice, higher so the, the speed that Kirby spits someone out at is variable. Really? So the more damage they have, the slower they move. Does they the get hitbox out. stay out longer, or? No, it stays out for the same amount of time, but it covers less of a distance. That is actually a fascinating thing that I did not know. It's, uh, oh. I like that. Uh, winners, yeah. losers, quarters is over. And we're going to be moving on probably into winners finals, which should be me and uh, Cassius versus Utopian Ray and Ralphie. Yep. Everybody's uh, favorite. <laughs> This will be very interesting to see uh, 